but it is always back with the next part of our expense tracker application development series. Here is the playlist. So we have done about 11 videos of this Ionic workshop. Now in this workshop series, we've been creating this expense tracker application. Let me just walk you through the basic functionality that we have in this application. So you can click on this plus button. It will give you this expense uh, add form where you can type like a amount, some description and select the category of your expense. Click on add and you will see that here. You can filter expenses by date. So let's just say you want to see what did you expend on yesterday. So you can filter by date here. You can filter by type as well. So here we got uh, three types of expenses. All have a type as pet. So if I go and change this to games and click OK, you should not see any type there. So if I go and click on pet, click OK, you see all the uh, types here. I'm going to click on all and we should see all the expenses for all the types. Here I can filter out by price up and down with this button. So yeah, that's what we've been doing so far. I'm going to go to account here. We got this reset data. If I go to application and see here we have a data, I'm going to click on the reset data, click OK, and data is gone depending on this application. So we don't have any expense anymore. I'm going to go and add a couple of expenses. So I'm going to add $10. This is the description. And I'm going to select the type as, let's just say games. Click on add and we have the expense there. Now in this video, we're going to have to work on this expense, add expense form. And also we will have to fix some of the scenarios where we add, for example, if I add 20 dot any value here, you see it's going to be there in our expense. So here we have like a long string after this testing place. So we want to have to round this to two digits to use this reset data button to clean up the data. I'm going to add another expense here and I will say 20.50 and add probably another two more digits. Let me just add a description, click on type as rent, click on add. And now we got that. Okay. I'm going to go to the code and here we have this add expense component type skip file. Here, first of all, I would like to add an interface, which is expense interface. And after that, I'm going to use this expense dot amount equal to, I'm going to access expense dot amount. And I'm going to use two fixed with the two digits. Now, in this case, it's saying that a string is not assignable to type number, which is correct. So we're just going to wrap that with number. I'm going to save the file. Also, we need to fix this dashboard total, which is like zero dollar. I want to use the currency pipe built into Angular. So let's go to the dashboard page and here we have a total. Okay, let's just get rid of this. And I'm going to use a pipe here. And that would be currency pipe. Okay, and then that would take USD as a parameter. Okay, now let's take a look at this now. So here we got this total dollar zero dot zero zero. So as you can see, it's automatically filtering now. I'm going to add another expense. So let's just say 20. And then this is the expense. And I'm going to select the type. Click on add. Now we got that 20 there. Now, if I go to plus and I'm going to add something like 20 dot days figure and let's just say test expense and I'm going to add clothing as a type, click on add and now you get to see that 23 dot 98. So we are rounding that to two decimal uh, digits after the decimal points. Okay. So in this case, our application is looking good. A couple more things regarding ad expense. So here you can see we got amount. I get to see this red line. And if I don't type any amount, it will say amount is not valid. So I actually forgot to record this bit, but I'll show you the code. So here we have an add expense component.html file. So right on the top here, I've got this ion label 
color as a danger position floating a class is like ion tech center I actually don't need that I'm just gonna get rid of this up now and then we have this ng if add expense form control input uh, if, if that's invalid then it's gonna show this amount is not valid and also I have this another check here if add expense or controls or amount if that's touched so I don't want to have you know open up this add expense and show that you know error so unless I touch it and get out from it I, I don't want to show this amount is not valid so that's looking good so this is what I've added also we got this ion input type as number and then also I would like to uh, actually input mode should be decimal to show the decimal keyboard there we got this uh, place a lot uh, description I'm going to just change that to description also here we added this as required and this uh, ion input should be required as well so I'm just going to add that there as well okay let's start testing your application in actual emulator so i'm going to go to terminal and if you are on a mac then you can follow along and if you're on a windows just wait for a few minutes then we'll see how we can build this application in an android emulator so i'm going to type ionic capacitor run ios command let's enter and it's going to open up Xcode, which is actually running already. So I'm going to change this to, let's just say, iPhone 11 Pro. And let me just wait for this to open up Xcode. And then it will have our application build. Then we can click on that play button to run our application in uh, iPhone emulator. So it's saying opening Xcode, that's good. And here I've got this play button. But before I click on that, I'm gonna click on product menu and then click on this build for and click on for running. And it's going to build my application for basically running. And once that's done, I can install this application to emulator or I can also install this application uh, to my iOS device, which I have here is iPad and iPhone as well. So basically I can connect to my devices wirelessly. So yeah, uh, our build is succeeded. I'm gonna click on this play button and it's gonna take a couple of minutes or depending on how uh, fast your Mac computer is and it's going to get your emulator up and running. So we just wait for this app to launch in iPhone 11 Pro emulator. Okay, so as you guys can see that I've got this emulator running. I'm gonna click on this plus button and that brings up our keyboard. Now because the, with the input mode we set that as uh, decimal, that's why you can see this keyboard. So it's good because we don't want our users to type in alphabets and change the keyboard uh, to numbers. So I'm just going to use this keyboard, let's just say dot, add a description, and now the keyboard changes. So what are the description user adds? Click on select type, clothing, and click on add. And there you go, we got our expense there. I can change the type to, let's just say games, and that should go away. I can bring up the expense by clicking on all, click OK. Yeah, that's looking good. So this is our application running on iPhone uh, emulator. I'm gonna bring up the Xcode and the way you upload your application to Apple Store is by building this for production. So I'm going to click on this clear build folder. Let's click on stop and it will get rid of our app from the emulator. I'm just gonna close the emulator. You want to know how you can deploy your expense tracking application to the Apple App Store account. Uh, then you can watch my one of the video where I show the complete deployment from Xcode to App Store. Okay, now we're gonna go back to PyCharm and I'm going to you know open this application in Android Studio. So I'll use Ionic capacitor run android and it's going to open android so it's saying probably the platform is not added so i'll use any capacitor add android it's going to say okay platform is added so we use capacitor 
run android now it's building my application for android and it's going to open up so it's just to you know not uh overload my mac computer i'm just going to close xcode and it's building and we should see the android studio soon there you go android studio it, this is like a latest version of android studio you might be wondering what is this color coming from it's basically the latest android studio that's all okay so here i've got this pixel 29 uh emulator created if you're not sure how to create this emulator all you gotta do is go to tools go to avd manager and here you need to create a device i'm gonna close this window okay so after you create your device all you gotta do is just click on this play button and then your emulator will start and you will see an application now you can see in, on my screen that there's an application with uh, running in emulator click on this plus button and it will open up the keyboard as you can see the android version of the keyboard is like this when you have an input mode set to decimal so i'm going to create an expense and let's just type a description let's add a type click on add and there you go we got an expense added so yeah our application is running on android and also on iphone in the next video onwards we're going to work on adding the back end for this application for example adding a authentication system and storing these expenses into the back end instead of the just on a local storage okay so yeah thank you so much for watching if you like the video give this video a thumbs up subscribe to the channel and also help me out by donating there's a paypal link in the description of this video thanks for watching and i'll talk to you guys in the next video